the one player that has moved this summer, and we're delighted to join us on the lines, Daryl Horgan. Daryl, thanks for joining us. No bother, lads. How are you doing? Very well, very well. Listen, tell us, you've made the move to Hibs from Preston. Um, tell us a little bit about how that came about. Um, well, I suppose kind of the, the end of the season, last season, it looked like I was going to be leaving Preston. You know, um, it just looked like that was that was what's going to happen from the season before, you know, the lack of games and um, kind of just... Hibs was always kind of on the radar and it looked like it was going to happen once or twice and for whatever reason it was it was stopped or it didn't happen. But then just came up on the Thursday that it looked like something could happen. You know, Preston said that they were willing to sell me and, um, you know, I got on the Hibs straight away and thankfully they were still in a position to make that move. You were such a, a key player for Dundalk and obviously a first-team regular. How frustrating was it to then go to being a, a player that very much on the periphery and having to, like I've seen you at games where you're itching to get on, you're warming up and it's very difficult, isn't it, as a player, preparing them week in, week out in the right way then to then going into the game on a weekend where you're not quite sure how many minutes you're going to get. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very difficult. You know, um, obviously, you're coming in after after games, you're you're doing the, the runs after games, you're training on the Monday you know, everyone else is recovering, then you're you're coming in Tuesday, Wednesday and you're just trying to put your best foot forward and training the whole time do everything you can and you know, you're you're dying for anything really, five minutes and towards the end I was just looking to get on the bench to be a part of it, you know, which was I suppose when you really think of it, it's, it's quite quite depressing nearly, you know, that all you want to do is just be involved and, you know, unfortunately you don't get that opportunity. So yeah, it was it was really difficult, obviously even on at Dundalk I'd always been I've always played and under I suppose Simon Grace now he's always part of the plans. But um unfortunately when the when the new manager came in it just just wasn't to be. He just um, had other players he preferred and you know that was it really. Alex Neal spoke about you in glowing terms since your departure and how it came about. That I know it's small comfort I suppose, but in terms of you've had to move on. It's still nice that a manager that didn't play you as much still speaks about you in those terms. I think Daryl just lost. He's gone a little bit. Um, I think it's a good move for him. Hopefully we'll be able to get him back up. I'm going to ask him where he sees the move in terms of where is it backwards, sideways, forwards. But from being such a big, big player and playing on such a big stage at Dundalk, so then go himself and Andy Boyle, obviously. Andy Boyle hasn't quite worked out either. He was on loan at Doncaster last year. Um, it's a good move for him as long as he gets the minutes that he's clearly craving on the pitch. Well, yeah, the minutes are the absolute vital thing here. I mean, it's all part of this journey where I, I can only imagine the amount he's learned from Preston is incredible. I think we actually have him back in the line now. Yeah. Daryl, you're back with us, Sorry thankfully. That, Sorry <laughs> about, um, with the old technology. <laughs> I don't know how much you heard, but I, I was mentioning about Alex Neil speaking about, even though, I, look, I'm not saying he didn't get on either way, but what you want from your manager, obviously, to be playing week in, week out, that didn't happen for you under Alex, but he still spoke about you in glowing terms. That, I suppose, small converts, but it's still nice of him to speak about you like that. Yeah, look, definitely, obviously, the most important thing for your manager is to play in you, and that's what you really want more than nothing, but, um, look, I have a lot of respect for him, he's done a brilliant job there, you know, he's... Um, with a club with a very, very small budget, you know, made them very, very competitive in that league. Uh, obviously, they were under Simon Grayson, but they've probably come up another level since, you know. Mm. And, um, you know, it, he'd always kind of said, you know, just just lads were just ahead of you. You know, he was, he was quite honest and quite decent about it in the sense that, you know, obviously, I wanted to play every week, but, you know, he kept saying just it's just not here for you at the minute and then when the opportunity came to leave he was okay about it he let me leave and obviously you know he said what he said I suppose you know I was just a bit down to myself just all I wanted to do was play football and yeah. I worked very hard to try play in that team and it just never happened for me So where where do you see this move then? So huge step up going from Dundalk to, to Preston huge expectations in this country in particular for you where do you see this move in your career? Is it a side side step? Is it a step down? Where where do you see it? I think it's a sideways step. Potentially, probably is a, it's a step up for me, like because I'm coming from not playing to hopefully mm. playing. You know, the aim is to come up here and try get myself in the team. You know, the lads have done done really well so far this season. So it's not going to be easy to get myself in, but the plan is to get myself in the team. 
And if I can play, well, that's definitely a step up from where he was because both the last 10 games of last season, there wasn't even squads, you know. So the aim is now to play and, you know, compete at the, at the highest level I possibly can. Obviously, put myself forward to play for, for the Irish team. And, you know, uh, first and foremost, I suppose, try to get into this team and try to play mm. and try make it as competitive as possible in the league and hopefully Europe. You mentioned about the Irish team. You've got four caps, clearly keen to, to add to that. How much of a factor was that in your decision with a new campaign for Euro 2020 on the horizon? Yeah, massive. You know, um, I spoke to the manager um, after the US game and um, he, he said, look, you need to play. You know, I'm going, he said, I'm going to games, watching Preston and you're not even involved. So the priority for you has to be, has to be playing games. So, you know, I completely understood and, you know, there's no God-given right to play games anywhere. So I'll have to play well and have to work hard. But I spoke to the manager here at Hibs and he said, um, you know, there'll be opportunities if you're playing well. So that was key. Look, everyone wants to play for the country. You know, everyone as a kid playing football, you know, you dream of playing for your country at World Cups and competitions. So that was always what I wanted to do. And, you know, if I can get that opportunity a few more times, it'd be absolutely fantastic. You must see it as an opportunity, though, if you are playing regularly at first team level, that there's places there up for grabs. I certainly feel there is in the position you play. We've obviously seen James McLean play as a as a centre forward at times. We're not inundated without and out wingers, which which obviously you are. So you must feel like there's a little opportunity there for you. Yeah, look, obviously I didn't play much at all last year, but the manager kept bringing us in, and um, you know played me played me twice towards the end of the season against Turkey and the US. So he obviously sees something there and. You know, hopefully, if I can just get maybe a few more games on the belt, get a bit more, I suppose, confidence back in my own ability and things like that, get used to playing football again, then um, hopefully I can just improve and, you know, kick on and who knows. Can't let you go without asking about the All-Ireland on Sunday. Go, we're going to make it two in a row. The half to. The half to. <laughs> you know, the half to. I'd love to see it. Like, it'd be a good game now, but they, they look really strong again this year. So, I, yeah, I'd, I'd be quite confident. Listen, Daryl, thanks very much. Appreciate you taking the time and good luck this season. Brilliant. Thanks, Cheers, man. Pal. See you later.